you can go here and just simply do Majisk Hide. All right, that's all we did. And now you will see that it works just fine. There's no delays. It should go straight right into the game. And boom shakalaka. Hi guys, it's Max from High on Android.com where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Now I know a lot of you are wondering how to run rooted apps such as Pokemon Go, Snapchat, uh, even Android Pay on rooted devices. Now you can use Majisk Root on any Android device to bypass uh, these root blocking apps. Let me go ahead and show you. Let's go do this baby. All right, so let me go ahead and demonstrate uh, what happens if you have a rooted phone playing Pokemon Go. Um, so let's say I'm gonna play Pokemon Go. And basically what will happen is that it will just hang up on the screen uh, and it will give you an either error or it will just hang here and then it will have a little button sign out. Alright, so it won't let you actually play Pokemon Go. Alright, same thing with Snapchat, um, also Android Pay, they'll just not work. So one of the ways to get around with is if you root it your phone using Majisk, and I'll briefly explain how to install it on any Android device a little bit later. If you have Majisk Manager, what you can do uh, is go ahead and click on this button. All right, it's gonna do a safety net check and it says safety net failed. Now this is based on the latest Majisk Manager V12 or higher. All right, if you're using the latest version V12 or higher, all you gotta do is if you have uh, the Majisk root properly installed, you can go here and just simply do Majisk hide. All right, that's all we did. And when we press that button and boom shakalaka. Now, if you did that and if it still did not pass safety net, uh, one of the main reasons is that if you're using a custom ROM, it might not work because the safety net depends on the actual firmware being uh, in the database of safety net. A lot of custom ROMs have a lot of custom stuff. So really take advantage of this. You'll need to use a stock firmware, all right, which I am. Uh, it's a stock Android 7.0 Nougat that's been rooted with Majisk. I also had a video on that. If you have a Note 5, follow that. So now I've been able to um, go past Majisk uh, safety net. So let me go ahead and close out and open up Pokemon Go again. And now you will see that it works just fine. There's no delays. It should go straight right into the game. And Boom shakalaka. All right, so Pokemon Go works. And also same thing with Snapchat. Because what these apps do is check for the safety net. Now I'm able to do this. Hey guys, you guys gonna be, well, this is my next video, All right? And I'm gonna go ahead and post this on my Snapchat real quick. All right, Snapchat working and also Android Pay working. All of these apps, they actually check for safety net. All right, and basically Majisk Manager allows you to hide that. Now the greatest part about the latest version of Majisk, I can still run uh, other rooted apps, you know, Trickster Mod, you'll see Super User Rights, granted. I can run Titanium Backup App, all right? And it's just, it's just a warning, but it still works just fine. So this is a great way um, to enjoy all of your rooted apps and also be able to run app stat block route. Pretty cool, right? All right, for the purposes of this video, I'm not gonna show you step by step on how to install Majisk because every phone is different, but I'm gonna give you the basic outline, all right? For most of the Samsung phones, all right, instead of using super user zip, all you have to do is use Majisk zip file um, to root your phone, all right? Uh, everything else is the same, you're gonna use Majisk. Also, another note, like I said before, um, you will wanna stick with a stock ROM or a custom firmware that passes the CTS pass. Um, not all custom ROMs actually pass the safety net, so it's really gonna be trial and error. For example, my S8 ROM on my Note 5, does not pass CTS. So no matter what Majisk uh, route I use, it's not gonna be able to pass safety net. All right, the best way is to use a stock firmware if you wanna use this hide method. All right, for example, for Nexus devices or Pixel devices, you'll have to install 
torp recovery through Fastboot, and then root your phone using Magisk. And there may be more steps involved, such as using a factory boot image. But I'm gonna go ahead and update a lot of my tutorials so I make sure they work for all of them because I'm gonna start using Magisk root. But this is a big deal for those of you who absolutely need to use Pokemon Go, Snapchat, Android Pay, or any other apps that use safety net to check if you're rooted or not. But as you can see on my Note 5, that's running the latest uh, stock Nougat firmware, you know, Magisk running flawless. It allows me to run Pokemon Go, Snapchat, and use Android Pay. Uh, all without disabling root, it simply hides it. So I just wanted to show you that it actually does work. Just try to stick with stock firmware and root with Magisk v12.zip file uh, instead of the Super SU. And otherwise the root is the same, you know, you just get to hide root for those apps. Anyway, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. I have more root tutorials coming. I'm gonna be updating uh, root tutorials for all these other phones uh, with Magisk. So watch out for that. Have a great day, and as always, stay Click here to subscribe.